Okay, picking up where we left off, we showed how to encapsulate our settings into a, a configuration class that makes it easier to use it in more than one place without duplicated code. Um, there's a few more things I want to cover in this series of uh, tutorials. I want to cover how to implement the paging, but for this clip, uh, I think what I want to show you is deployment. Now, when you're ready to package, and when I say that, yeah, I mean packaging and deployment, like there's two different scenarios. One is you're building a custom feature with, you know, for your own use, and you could just package it entirely together with your bu newest build of Mojo Portal and deploy it to your website. But suppose you were building this guestbook feature for sale. You know, you're going to make it available as a separate download that someone can install on top of their Mojo Portal site. First thing you want to do is do a release build. And Visual Studio seems to lose its references momentarily when you do this kind of thing but it should come back here. Yeah. So I'm going to say rebuild acmeweb.ui and now that it's built, we're going to go to the file system here and we've got our Acme projects here. And I'm just going to add another folder under here. And that's where we'll deploy to. And we're going to use the free Unleash It tool. Now I'm just going to leave it this, I'm just going to point it to. Now, as I said, the two scenarios would be like this. If you were wanting to package the entire Mojo portal with your features, you'd point it at this web folder because all the files get copied up there by post build events. That would get you everything your newest build of Mojo portal from trunk plus your custom feature. But in this case, I want to show how to do it when you are packaging for. Um, redistribution for others. So we just need to point at our custom features web UI project as the source and then for the target we just need to go ahead and find our GB deploy folder and then we just click deploy. Now I've got pre-configured folder masks. There's a page on mojoportal.com that talks about you know what file extensions you want to have on there. But we'll go ahead and deploy it and then we'll close out of this and we'll open in here. Now, when we deploy these files, we deployed a few things that we don't want to include in our package. Like, we don't want the web.config from our guestbook app to overwrite the Mojo Portal web.config. So we're going to delete that right away. Um, and then the other thing is, you know, everything else is good. It's, you know, we've got our one resource file, but if we look in the bin folder, you see, because we uh, guestbook depends on Mojo Portal, all the Mojo Portal DLLs get copied into the guestbook's bin folder. And that might not be the same version of Mojo Portal as what's already deployed, so you don't want to have all that in here. So basically I'm going to get rid of everything except our three DLLs for the Acme projects. None of that other needs to be in my package because it's already included in Mojo Portal and we don't want to overwrite their version with some different version. And so you see now we have no source code. It's all compiled into the DLLs. We've got set up with our installation scripts and everything. So everything is geared to where this, you copy the contents of this into the root of your Mojo Portal site and then visit setup and that's all you have to do to install. Okay, so I've created a clean, brand new installation of the latest Mojo Portal version 2.3.4.3 here. It looks the same as what we were working with, except we don't have our guestbook page. And, you know, in fact, if we were to go to uh, the features, we will see that we don't have guestbook on the list anywhere. So this is just the default features of Mojo Portal. Now, we created our package over here. And so all we've got to do is copy everything from here up to this folder where I have installed this new installation of Mojo Portal. And so basically we just paste everything in here and it will merge with our setup folder that's already there and put in our new files. And then once we've done that, we can go back to the browser and we can visit the setup page. And we can see that it ran our three scripts for our guest book and configured it. So we will go back to the home page. 
and we'll create a new page. And we'll make it a root page. And then we'll go to features. And this time we should see guestbook near the bottom of the list. We'll just call it sign it. Then we'll view the page. And again, because we're logged in, it doesn't show the uh, capture. But we'll go ahead and put in here. Submit. And now we have got that there. Now, you, you know what we didn't deploy though was our CSS. Um, so it's kind of tricky to, you know, there's really no good way to add CSS to an existing feature. So the best thing you can do when you're packaging a feature is include a CSS and a readme in the download saying how to add it from the style.config file or just CSS entries to add to their current CSS. But anyway, that completes this tutorial. We've seen how to package and deploy a custom feature, and we'll see you in the next clip.